M0FXP, welcome to my channel, GD77 DMR Radio Programming Software. So I'll put a link into Radiology, you can just click one of these, download the software, and you will. it will look like this. And let's start with the basics. So basic information, that's what will happen when you read your radio. You need to connect the cable to your radio and click Program, Read, and have the, you know, have the correct um, USB driver, which will all be on the download section. Catch that for now. Once you're in, then start looking at general settings here. Double click general setting. And this is not the open GD77. This is just a normal GD77 original software. So you've got a radio name there. Put in your DMR ID. So go 2341437 is mine. I think that's pretty much all you need to do in this section. Then we'll go to start going to channels. There's a channel there. You get a whole list of channel channels. I'll just open up a, a file that I'd already used. So we've got file open. And I've got a file on my desktop. Of course you can save anything you do. Click OK. <clears throat> I'll go back to channels. And here's a couple of channels that I created. So when the when you double click the channel, you can add channel just by right clicking and click add, or you can change existing channels. So if we look at one here, the first one I've made is an analog channel. So double click where it says number one, and you'll get this this new window. So you select analog, name it here, GB3WR, add the frequency here. And you can click across, but it won't put a shift in. You'll have to change the frequency. So I've reduced it by 600 uh, so that it receives on 145.600 TX145000. Uh, do a high timeout of about at least over 200 seconds. Otherwise, it will stop, you know, transmitting in the middle of your conversation. Select your power. I think that's it. Then your tone, you know, your TX tone. So you don't really need it on receive here. Look, for my repeater, it's 94.8. So at the top there, 94.8, that's your tone. That's what opens the repeater up. So you've put in everything you need into that channel. Now, to be able to find that channel, you have to put it in a net in a zone because on these radios, channels get put into zones. Zones are like groups of channels. So if we double click the tab here that says zone, you see it says zone, double click. These are groups and you can add whole zones uh, and, and delete and, and change and then you can name the zone. So if we double click that zone, we get this new window and on the right are the channels that are in the zone. So we can name it, it says here my zones and if you want to name, we close that one down, go to the zone underneath we can name it, we can call it, uh, for example, we can go digital. Yeah, and with that, we can then put in our digital items. All these channels on the right, you can delete them if you want. Just by highlighting, so I did, let's go back to it. Uh, which one was it? Digital. Select one and then click delete and it goes up, gets rid of them all. Keep the ones that you want, see? Like so then you can add them. These are chat on the left are all channels that you've created. So if you look here, this channel number three, for example, if I rename it, um, I'll rename it hello. Okay, close that down. We've now got a channel here called hello. If we go to the bottom, we should find a channel. Let's close the window and reopen it. So zone. Double click. Oh, it's already in there, look. It's already been put in there automatically. Hello. But normally it will be, you know, in the other list. So let's uh, let's try let's try do another one, see if it puts it in there automatically. I just go high. Close it. Then we'll go down. Yeah, it's there, look. So it hasn't put it up. So you click it and you send it into your zone. Add. See what I mean? So that's your channels within that zone. Each zone could be a different name. Marine band, PMR frequencies, 
analog, VHF, UHF, that's the point. And so when you turn the knob on your radio, you go through the zones. Within each zone, there's groups of channels. So let's just show you my hotspot, how to create a hotspot channel um, or a digital channel. So we've got my hotspot here on this channel here. We'll double click the two. And then we've got, we select digital, record it hotspot. We put in the frequency of my hotspot, which is simplex. Again, with the timeout, you want it quite high. Now that with DMR, you do need to select your color code and your slot. So color code is here, color code, and it tends to be one on a hotspot and three on a repeater. Contact, that's very important because when you transmit, it transmits wherever this box is filled to. So at the moment it says worldwide, which is actually 91. And I'll show you how to create those contacts. They're effectively talk groups. And then you can choose slot one or two. Okay, generally it's two. But, you know, check with your repeater keeper or with your hotspot. So let me just show you the one on contacts. So that's very important because without that, you're not going to speak to anyone. You've got to remember that DMI is all based almost like phone numbers. Your phone number is your DMR number. Each channel or group is basically another number. So if we go to, if we're looking here for contacts now, digital contacts. Let's find it. Contacts here. It says contacts just here. Double click. You don't want DTMF, you want digital contacts. Now, I've only created two, but there are hundreds. So let's just say you wanted to talk on talk group 80, which is what we would do. We'd click add. Then we double click the three on the left and give it a name. Let's say it's called it's called chat for now, for now. Then we'll give it, we know it's talk group number 80. So just type in 80 and you can close it. And it adds it. See, chat, now that's a group call, which is what you're going to use most of the time. But if you ever have to do a private call, before you click add, drop it down and click private, and then click add. Then you do the same thing. You put your, let's say, let's say, for example, we can use disconnect as private. Some people do that. Disconnect, which is fourth, talk group 4,000. One, two, three. Okay, and you've created it, disconnect. And the idea is that when you're creating your channel, let's go back to channels now, down here at the bottom, channels, go to your, that'll be a DMR channel, that you can select that. See that? Now in the contact section here, you drop down, you've got uh, disconnect. So when you transmit, it will transmit on talk group 4000. A lot of people use uh, a, a channel called nine, which is tends to be called local, local nine. If you go back to digital contacts, which is here, double click. We look at uh, local, look, it's nine, because it means they can go on that one channel and then they can use what, what we call manual dial to then type in all the different talk group numbers as they need them. Nine is like, it's, a, it's just almost like a link, like a link to the, you know, to the radio and the repeater or the hotspot, rather than the actual telling it to talk on a certain talk group. And then you, you let the radio add additional information. So hopefully that'll help you. Once you've got all that done, you go program and you write to the radio, and then you'll look into change zones to find your groups of channels. And there's a lot more to this. But that's the basics. You do need a DMR number. You do need a ham radio license to use this radio uh, on DMR and digital. That's just the, that's the rules. So thanks for watching my channel. Catch you on air. Bye for now. 7-3.